Mechanical ventilation is arguably the most important section of the TMC exam. Well, actually, there's really not much of a debate because mechanical ventilation makes up the largest allocation of questions, meaning that there are more questions on the exam that involve mechanical ventilation in some way than any other topic. This is why we always stress to our students to focus a lot of time and energy on mastering this topic. Going through practice questions is definitely one of the best strategies that you can use to do just that. Which is exactly why we created this video that contains a few sample TMC practice questions, all of course on the topic of mechanical ventilation. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. A 43 year old male patient was admitted to the emergency department with a suspected drug overdose. The patient is receiving oxygen via non-rebreather, but is unconscious and isn't making any respiratory efforts to breathe. The patient's body weight is 57 kilograms and his ABG results are as follows. pH of 7.28, PaCO2 of 64, bicarb of 22, and a PaO2 of 315. Which of the following would you recommend? A. Apply BiPAP with an IPAP of 20, an EPAP of 5, and an FIL2 of 30%. B. Intubate and apply SIMV with a tidal volume of 600, a rate of 6, and an FIL2 of 40%. C. Intubate and apply assist control ventilation with a tidal volume of 450, a rate of 12, and an FIO2 of 40%, or D, apply CPAP at 10 centimeters of water pressure with an FIO2 of 100%. Let's break it down and see if we can come up with the correct answer. First, we must interpret the ABG results. With a decreased pH, a normal bicarb, and an increased PaCO2, this tells us that the patient is in acute respiratory acidosis. This, along with the other information that we gathered in the question, lets us know that the patient is in need of full invasive ventilatory support. So that means we can rule out A and D automatically because BiPAP and CPAP are forms of non-invasive ventilation. Now we just need to figure out which remaining option is the best for this patient. SIMV mode at a rate of 6, which by the way is very low, is only going to provide partial ventilatory support, so that means we can rule that one out as well. The best option for this patient is assist control ventilation at a normal rate with an initial tidal volume of about 8 milliliters per kilogram of body weight. Now the question gives us the patient's body weight, which is 57 kilograms. So now we can just say 57 multiplied by 8, which gives us 456 milliliters. And that is close to the tidal volume that is given in the answer choice, which tells us that this tidal volume setting is appropriate. And just a quick note about the FIO2. The patient has a PAO2 of 315 TOR due to being on a non-rebreather. That number is way too high which means that the patient has been getting too much oxygen. So now we know that we need to decrease that amount. In general, an FIO2 of 40% is a good starting point and we can continue to monitor the patient and reassess at a later time. So by breaking down the question and going through all the data that was given, we can determine that the correct answer has to be C intubate and apply assist control ventilation with a tidal volume of 450 milliliters, a rate of 12 breaths per minute, and an FIO2 of 40%. Are you still with me? Before we move along to the next question, I just wanted to let you know about our TMC test bank. It's our massive bank of premium practice questions that many students have been using to prepare for and pass the TMC exam. 
going through practice questions is by far one of the most effective preparation strategies and that is why so many of our recent students have been successful. Our practice questions cover every topic that you're required to know for the exam including the topics that unfortunately many students forget to study. If you're interested we're actually running a temporary promotion that you can take advantage of. Just pause this video and visit the link below before the promotion ends. I'll drop a link right below this video down in the description. Okay, now that you're back, let's go ahead and break down another practice question. Is that cool with you? Alright, here we go. During the ventilator check of an adult patient who weighs 77 kilograms, you note the following settings. An exhale tidal volume of 550 milliliters, peak inspiratory pressure of 30, high pressure limit of 65, low pressure alarm of 20 and a low tidal volume alarm of 500 milliliters. Which of the following changes should be made at this time? A. Increase the set tidal volume to 700 milliliters. B. Increase the low tidal volume alarm to 535 milliliters. C. Decrease the high pressure limit to 40 to 45 centimeters of water pressure or D. Decrease the low pressure alarm to 10 centimeters of water pressure. Do you know the answer? If not, no worries, let's break it down. To answer this one correctly, you needed to have a basic understanding of ventilator settings and alarms. This is definitely a topic that you should spend some time on when preparing for the TMC exam. For this patient, all of the settings are acceptable except for one. The tidal volume, peak inspiratory pressure, low pressure alarm, and low tidal volume alarm all appear to be set appropriately. However, a high pressure limit of 65 on the other hand is way too high for this patient. As a general rule of thumb, the high pressure limit should be set 10 to 15 centimeters of water pressure above the peak inspiratory pressure. Otherwise, the patient has an increased risk of barotrauma trauma or lung injury if too much pressure is applied to the lungs. Now for the patient in this question, their peak inspiratory pressure is 30, which means that the high pressure limit should be set between 40 to 45 centimeters of water pressure. So by breaking down the question and using what we know about ventilator settings, we could determine that the correct answer has to be C decrease the high pressure limit to 40 to 45 centimeters of water pressure. Are you still with me? Is it helpful going through and breaking down these practice questions? If so, will you do me a big favor? Will you hit that thumbs up button below to support the channel? It really makes a big difference in helping us reach more respiratory therapy students. And also while you're down there, be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. But we're not done yet. If you want, we can go through one more practice question. I mean, or we can just stop the video now if you want to. I'll leave it up to you. What's that? You want to do one more? Okay, you talked me into it. We can do another one. This next one is about making adjustments to the ventilator settings according to the patient's ABG results. I'm going to read the question, so let's see if you can come up with the correct answer. A 52 kilogram female patient is receiving volume control assist control mechanical ventilation with a tidal volume of 400 milliliters, a set rate of 10, and an FiO2 of 35%. Her ABG results are as follows. pH of 7.31, PaCO2 of 49, bicarb of 24, base excess of negative 2, a PaO2 of 84, and an SpO2 of 95%. Based on the given information, which of the following changes is appropriate at this time? A. Increase the FiO2. B. Increase the tidal volume. C. Increase the set rate. Or D. Maintain the current settings. Do you know the answer? 
We're about to break it all down step by step, but if you knew the answer before the explanation, let me know in the comments, just so I'll know where some of you guys stand. Now to come up with the correct answer, the first thing we need to do is interpret the ABG results. A decreased pH with an increased PaCO2 and a normal bicarb indicates acute respiratory acidosis. And by looking at the PaO2 and SpO2, we can see that the patient's oxygenation status is satisfactory. So now we need to figure out what can we do to correct the respiratory acidosis to get the pH back into the normal range. The elevated PaCO2 level is what's causing the pH to be acidotic. This means that we need to blow off some of that excess CO2 and we can do so by increasing the minute ventilation. And you may be wondering, how can we increase the minute ventilation? There are two ways to do so. We can either increase the rate or increase the tidal volume. Now the question provides us with the patient's weight of 52 kilograms and the set tidal volume is 400 milliliters. We can use this data to calculate whether or not the tidal volume is set appropriately. All we have to do is say 400 milliliters divided by 52 kilograms and that equals to 8 milliliters per kilogram. And this falls perfectly within the appropriate tidal volume range of 5 to 10 milliliters per kilogram, which tells us that the tidal volume is set correctly. So since the tidal volume is set appropriately, that means that there is only one possible way to increase the minute ventilation. Now we can be certain that in order to lower the PaCO2, we need to increase the rate. So by going through the question, taking what they give us, and breaking it down step by step, we could determine that the correct answer has to be C. Increase the set rate. Well, what'd you think? Were these practice questions helpful? I hope that they were, and as I always say, definitely try to go through as many of these as possible when preparing for the TMC exam. Even if you don't use our practice questions to study, this is still a strategy that I recommend for all students. But if you do want to get access to all of our premium practice questions, definitely consider checking out our TMC test bank. You can still take advantage of the temporary promotion that's going on by using the link below down in the description. Also, if you want to get these practice questions and explanations sent straight to your inbox on a daily basis, you can consider signing up for our Practice Questions Pro membership, which costs less than one of those fancy cups of coffee that all the kids are drinking these days. <laughs> I'll drop a link to that as well down below. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Hit that like button, subscribe, and leave a comment letting me know if you enjoy these breakdowns and want more in the future. That's it for this one. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next video. And as always, breathe easy, my friend.